In this video, I'm going to show you that how the SYN HTTP request has been processed within the socket communication mechanism. So it will allow us to send the request to the HTTP server and then after processing the request, it will be get back to the client and will be telling us that whether the authentication or the connection has been made or not. So I've just uh, written this uh, method send HTTP request and then I provided actually a URL and this URL would going to be actually representing the address of our web server and this is actually a result uh, the result which we are going to be actually using for reading the input line of the stream which is actually coming inside so for example if a stream of connection like hello world is coming uh, uh, and uh, we are actually reading it so for that purpose we're going to use the result and we're going to start uh, and store that uh, input stream inside the result the next we have is actually a URL so we have actually instantiated the URL in here and then we provided the authentication server address as a parameter to this URL uh, instantiation class and what is user authentication server address it is actually the address which we have previously declared in here that is 127.0.01 slash android chatter so I'm gonna get back to the send HTTP request method and in here I've just created the HTTP URL connection so what is HTTP URL connection HTTP URL connection is actually used to make a single request but the underlying network connection to the HTTP server server may be shared by multiple instances so for that purposes we use HTTP URL connection and then we actually instantiate the HTTP URL connection by opening the connection so what does it really mean uh, by open connection we means that we are actually opening all the gates for the communication and for sending the HTTP request to the server and then we have is actually the set do output method set do output method provides us the capability of setting the do output field for the URL connection of the specified field a URL connection can be used for input and output so if you are intending to make or to set the URL connection for output you're gonna make it true so that is why we actually set the do output method actually to true so we are actually making going to make the URL connection for output the next one is we are using the print writer so what does print writer do it actually prints the formatted representation objects to a text output stream so that is why we are actually using the same kind of technology for uh, the connection through which we are actually getting the output stream so now we are actually using the out.println and we are actually printing the parameters which are going to be enclosed in and then we are after that we are closing the print writer class the next we are using in here is a buffer reader buffer reader is actually used for reading the a kind of text file so for example the incoming connection is online or hello world or anything like that so we're going to be using buffer reader to read that incoming connection and that process it according to the requirement so here we are actually instantiating that uh, input stream reader with buffer reader and then we are getting the connection uh, in the form of input stream so now the next thing we are using is actually an input line so input line is actually referring to, to the line uh, on which the text are actually printed out so if for example there are uh, uh, text uh, which is covering 10 lines so the input lines would be actually 10 so if the input uh, so what we are doing is actually we are reading the text uh, string with the help of buffer reader and storing it inside the input line variable that is actually a string variable and we are stating that if it is not equal to null then the, the while loop will be running until that and then put the result uh, put put everything in a result variable by concatenating the input line with the result concat means concatenation so what does it really mean for example if we have a string of text and uh, we are actually reading from that string of text like for example hello world so it start with H and ends with D so we are actually starting from H and then reading it and until the D appears so until the D appears the while loop will run 
and the while loop will run until the D appears and after the D finishes we will store and we will actually concatenate each and every line with the result and we'll store it inside a result variable and then we will close the buffer and then we will actually catch the mail formed URL exception this exception is thrown to indicate that a mail formed URL has been thrown out or uh, catched it input output exception is used when we are dealing with reading and outputting something like reading from the data or writing to that file so we uh, then use input output exception so if anything happens in that case we're gonna catch that out and if uh, the text length for which is actually stored in a result is equal to zero then what you're gonna have to do is then you're gonna have to put everything inside a result variable and that would be actually the HTTP request fail which means that there is nothing to read on there is no connection input stream and we are, have nothing to read on and that will be stored in a result with uh, a request of failed and then we're gonna re return the result